Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World, that's Germany. So, few things to discuss before I continue. First of all, I'm going to trade my horses because I can sell them to Morocco for some money. At least I think they are interested. They are. I could trade my horses for iron, but I prefer money right now since I already have my iron from the city-state and my influence with Florence is pretty good right now. So unless someone steals Florence from me, I should be able to stay allied with them for a long time. Hopefully no one's going to steal it from me when I'm at 118, but it can always happen, you never know. So, few things to discuss. First of all, I'm going to need one more worker, I think. I got three right now, which is kind of not enough. I need a lot more improvements. So I'll grab one in here after the water mill. That shouldn't take too long. I'm also going to replace the market that I got queued up in Berlin and get barracks instead. I need to have barracks at least in one city and then I'll need to get an armory. And speaking of armory, I need to discuss the technology progression a little bit. This is the moment in the game when I almost always go for acoustics to unlock Renaissance era and get rationalism. And I could do that right now. I could research acoustics in 26 turns and get rationalism in 27, but I'm already kind of invested in the military part of the tree. So considering I'm having some major problems breaking Assyria, I'm considering going for Renaissance era through gunpowder. I almost never do that, but I think it makes sense in this situation right now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm sort of tempted to get guilds first because I might be able to steal either chivalry or machinery from Assyria, but I might also be able to steal physics or steel. I don't actually know what technologies he has. I can't really tell from the units that he's using. He probably doesn't have machinery because he's using composite bombmen, but he might get it by the time my spy finishes his job. So, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to get guilds, that's only 6 turns. Hmm. But I don't get anything useful from it, I mostly need guilds to be able to get chivalry and machinery, no other reason really. Alright, well, I'm going to grab physics first, to get trebuchets as fast as possible, then steel and gunpowder. I'll pass on guilds. So, I hope that I will be able to steal still in 15 turns I don't think he has it right now but hopefully he'll get it and if not I could always steal compass maybe I'm not sure if he has it either but if I want to steal compass I'll have to research these two technologies that's only two turns so I'm actually going to do that then go for physics and go and then for gunpowder. This will obviously delay Renaissance era significantly, so I might be shooting myself in the foot. I have never done this on DT before. I always considered getting very early rationalism unlock to be pretty much mandatory to win on DT, and it kind of is. But if I want to go for domination or at least try doing it, then I want to grab military tradition for 50% extra experience. So I can unlock military tradition in 27 turns with my next policy and then get rationalism after that. I should have Renaissance era by the time I get my next policy after this one. Okay, so that's enough talking. I'm just checking my cities real quick. Right, that's enough talking. I'm going to continue fighting here. I can also sign peace with Panama City because Ashurbani Pali is not allied with that anymore. So I don't have to fight their units. I'll just stay in this general area. One thing I could do if I really wanted to is buy these two tiles and get a citadel down here. I was actually strongly considering doing that, but I don't think I will right now because I might not be able to break through here even with a citadel. So I'm not sure if that's such a great idea. It's going to depend on how many units he has down here. I can use this hill to scout ahead a little bit. I should be able to see two tiles ahead if I put a great general on that hill. So, yeah, he has pikemen and swordsmen in there. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Especially since Nineveh he's at 37 combat strength, which is pretty damn high, considering this is not even Renaissance era yet. 37 is pretty high for medieval era, so I'm a little bit worried about that. 
And I effectively can't use these two tiles, because then he would be able to fire at whatever unit is standing there with two cities at once. Which is obviously really bad times. So we'll see. I want to try luring these units towards me, that might work actually. And another problem is this forest, because I can't place a unit on the plains hex right here and fire at these guys, because there's a hill and forest in the way. And I can't stand on this hill because then Nineveh will be firing at me. So this is a really well fortified location. Kind of unintentionally. So that's why I'm considering other options. If I could steal a compass, then I could get some ships in Hamburg. And maybe use that to attack Asur. That's a possibility. I'm not quite sure just how well that's going to work. Okay, he does have compass already. I can see that. So, maybe I'm going to steal that. Well, that's going to depend on what my options are. But the cost of compass is the exact same. 754... Well, no, 618. So that's a little bit cheaper, but it's roughly the same. So I would only lose 3 turns of research if I stole compass instead of steel. We'll see, I still got how many turns? 12 turns before I have to decide. Hmm. I'm a little bit annoyed that I went for accuracy instead of barrage, because all of these tiles are rough terrain. The forests, the hills, that's one of the reasons why I won't really be able to break through here. I don't want to get extra experience, especially since the next upgrade will give me either plus one range or logistics, depending on what I decide to get. I got accuracy free on both of these composite bowmen now, which is pretty awesome. I'm also a little bit worried that I'll have a massive fleet attacking Hamburg at some point. I mean, this city is kind of exposed. That's one of the reasons why I got city walls in there. But I'm still a little bit worried that I'll get like 5 or 6 ships attacking Hamburg at some point and I lose the city if I won't have any reinforcements nearby. It's a legitimate concern. Also, I think one of my deals is going to expire soon. Like in 2 or 3 turns. I need to check the exact turn. So let's have a look at deal history. Yeah, Sugar will expire very very soon from the looks of it. On the next turn, yeah, on turn 207. So I should be able to sell that for money. Also, it would be awesome getting allied with Panama City. But I would have to drop a lot of gold on that city or get a great artist. And that would involve getting artist guild. Which I can't actually get right now, but I could get that a little bit later. I think that's going to be a bit too late. Maybe I'll get some other quest in here. It would be awesome getting allied with Panama City, so then Panama City would actually attack Ashurbanipal's units. That would work quite well. But I'm not really counting on it. Right. Hmm. I could move another unit here to this desert hill and attack twice per turn. That works. I need to heal that up. I wouldn't mind getting some experience on the catapults, but yeah, there's not a lot of space around here. I can only really use these two tiles. I don't think he's going to move closer to me. I could try to lure him towards me with the catapult. That might work. The AI often prioritizes siege units if they seem exposed. So maybe that will work, we'll see. I want to lure these units towards me. Because I don't think I'll be able to kill them otherwise. Yeah, look at their upgrades. This one has double medic. And this one has extra combat strength against ranged attacks. So that's not going to happen. Yeah, 30 combat strength. Hmm, well that's a bit of a problem. Oh, what? Yeah, they are coming. I need to send some archer there. Or a catapult. Yeah, I could use a catapult in there. That works. That's actually even better than an archer. That will give me some extra experience. Meanwhile, I can move the swordsman in here. Just to get some extra combat strength. And I can send one great general there. I won't be using my great general for a citadel just yet. One of the things that I'm considering right now is signing a peace deal at one point. 
and then trying to convince Bodica to go to war with me. If I could get one of the other leaders to attack Ashumanipal with me, then I would have a much better chance at succeeding. Okay, no quest for a trade route, so I'll just continue on this one with Marrakech. I need to get one more uh, caravan. And I should get a caravan, sorry, in my capital. Yeah, I think the barracks will have to wait. Hmm. I'd rather get this right now. Especially since it's not very safe getting cargo ships in Hamburg. So that also means I need to get extra caravan. Seven turns. I'm going to delay that workshops that workshop a little bit. I don't like doing it, but I want to use all of my trade routes. Oh what? Morocco is plotting against me. Seriously? Really? Wow, scumbag. He wanted me to go to war with him and now he's plotting against me. What a scumbag. Open borders. I suppose I can accept that. Hmm. Oh yeah, did my deal expire? I think it did. I almost forgot about that. Yes, I got sugar now. So let's have a look. Yes, hi. Okay, 360 for that. Very nice. So now I got almost 1000 gold. And I'm going to save that. Okay, that's a lot of ships. So I definitely need that catapult in here. And that's extra experience for the catapult. And the great general goes here. So that city should be safe for now. And I think I'll get a farm on that hill. That's always two food and two hammers. So that's kind of nice. Hmm. Well, the AI is getting a little bit smarter. Probably unintentionally. Because these two dudes are not moving towards me. And I just can't kill them from here. Especially with double medic. And cover too. I'm pretty sure this is cover too. So without more firepower, I won't be moving through here. I could try to flank him, go through Panama City or something like that, I don't know. The other option is building a few ships and then attacking us through here. But I'm going to need some land units for that too. At least now he's kind of moving towards me, so I can do a little bit of damage. Thing is, I can't use this tile because then he will bombard me with Nineveh. And I don't want that to happen. That would be really bad times for me. I will probably lose that unit in one turn. Especially with this composite bomber in range. Yeah, he got away with that unit. Without these mountains, this would be a lot easier. Alright, give me the experience now. So, get rid of this one. And this one. Works for me. Oh, now he moved towards me with the swordsman. That's good. Let's see how much damage I can do. Probably not a whole lot. This is the one with cover though. Yeah, so that's going to be a little bit problematic. I might want to back up with that catapult now. Yeah. I think I need to back up with that catapult. I might still lose that composite bomb, man. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to attack him. I hope I won't lose one of these. This was a little bit risky, to say the least. But I guess I'll find out on the next turn. Yes, you stay there. So, moment of truth. No, he didn't even bother attacking me. And now he's going to heal up. I'm mostly doing this to get experience and progress towards the next great general. The next great general is definitely going to be helpful. Okay, here's an important decision. I can either get accuracy 1 and get bonus against these ships, or I can get barrage and be more useful here. I think Hamburg is go going to be threatened once he builds up a bigger fleet, so I'm going to grab accuracy 1 to help defending Hamburg. I will get trebuchets in 7 turns, so that's obviously going to help a lot. Come on. Yeah, I can't get rid of that swordsman, which is really annoying. Oh well, I guess it happens. Not much point keeping the hand axe around here. He's not going to do anything. That university is almost done. I need to assign the specialists as soon as the university is done, obviously. Just need to keep an eye on it. I'm still a little bit worried about being behind in technology. But there's not a whole lot I can do about it right now. 
I can just keep doing what I'm doing. Another one going down. Yeah, it would be so awesome getting allied with Panama City in this situation. Oh, okay, he's actually moving towards me with that swordsman, but I won't be able to kill him. Maybe on the next turn. Okay, this might actually happen. Good, good. My worker is done. So, he can grab a farm over here. That's plus two food. And yeah, this guy can chill around here. I could pillage that farm with a hand axe. I guess that's going to help. I could end up losing the hand axe, but I'd rather lose the hand axe than the swordsman. So I'll do it. I'm going to pillage that farm. So he will lose two food from that one. Which will slow down his city growth a bit. So that's always good. I would get some research agreements right now, especially since they got changed in the patch. Yeah, Oda is plotting against me. He's on the other side of the continent. But yeah, the research agreements got changed in the patch, and it definitely makes sense signing them earlier now. Since both the uh, parties of the research agreement get the lower science output out of it. So it doesn't have the richer get it, so it doesn't have the rich get richer kind of mechanic that it did before. Alright, that guy is going down. I'm going to grab barrage on this catapult. Oh great, I can't actually attack him from here. Oh damn it, that's really annoying. Now he's going to get away and he's at what? One health? Seriously? Okay, now I'm annoyed. Because I can't finish him off. Great. Oh well. I can pillage the farm to make myself feel better about it. I might need another archer around here. Or composite bowman, whatever. If he brings more ships, I'm definitely going to need more help around Hamburg. Yeah, I lost the uh, hand axe. Yeah, I want to extend that deal. But I don't mind losing the hand axe. These guys are kind of useless at this point with only 9 combat strength. That's just way too low to be useful. And yeah, he got away with that stupid swordsman. So that was annoying. He lived with one health and he had quite a lot of upgrades. Is that the one? Probably not, because he's at 81. Right, anyway, let's continue this. Get rid of this. So, I'm doing kind of okay, but not really, because this is not the goal to farm experience. The goal was to take the cities, but I can't take the cities in a situation like this. I'm just going to stay here forever, or until he gets units that are superior to mine and just breaks me. But I can see he has machinery. Unfortunately, I won't be able to steal that because I didn't go for guilds. So that's kind of annoying. But it was a bit of a gamble. If he didn't have machinery, then I would waste the research time for guilds. Right. Give me some promotions on that catapult. Great. Another one with one health? That's so annoying. That's just bad luck right there. Well, let's keep it up. I should get a great general soon again. There we go. That's my third great general. I will definitely consider getting some citadels, but not yet. If I was a total scumbag, I could start a city right here on top of the stone and then get a citadel here on top of the forest. I could do that. This is a viable location for a city. It's not, it's not next to a border and it's four tiles away from any other city. But this would be a really bad city, so I don't really want to increase my technology costs by 5%. Because this city would not bring enough science to justify its existence. Not to mention I would need the extra happiness for it. If that was a better location for a city though, I would totally consider doing exactly that. But this is not going well. How's that spy doing? Two more turns, so we'll see what I can get. Oh no, not with the city, with the catapult. Down you go. Alright. How's my experience? Oh nice, 98 out of 100, perfect. So now I should get plus one range or logistics on this guy. I think I'll grab logistics instead of plus one range because that gives me more firepower and it will allow me to get upgrades faster with two shots per turn and that will stack nicely with the military tradition. I think I'll have to sign peace deal soon. Because now he has crossbowmen. So he has a lot more firepower than before. Oh and yeah, university finished. So 
I need to assign the specialist. I'll just redo all of the assignments here. Yeah, these two duels were not great. So, two specialists in here, and the rest for the food. I'm just going to get as much food as possible to grow the city a little bit more. So this style, and this. Yeah, that's pretty much the best I can do right now. This one, I could grab the horse for four hammers. Yeah, I guess that will speed up the caravansary significantly. Alright, this looks solid. I still need to get a stable in here. I never actually finished that, or did I? Oh yeah, I did, right, I forgot about that then. Alright, my third caravan will be ready soon, and another university will be ready in five turns, and my spy will do his job in two turns. I'm a little bit worried about that crossbowman. However, he might actually start moving towards me now, when he feels a little bit more confident than before. Anyway, I need to actually upgrade my catapults now. 145 gold. Alright. I'm only making 8 gold per turn right now. Did I lose some of my... Oh, I traded my last sugar copy. Great. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to keep an eye on that. Fortunately, my happiness is solid right now. I won't have too many problems with that. So I'm going to grab logistics because I actually need the extra firepower from this. And that will give me more experience per turn due to 2 shots per turn. So I should be able uh, to get plus one range faster. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to attack that crossbowman. I want him to move towards me. Also, if I want to steal this, I need to research something else for, for one turn. I could do one turn of research in acoustics, because I want to be able to steal that one. So, fingers crossed for steal. I would really like to get that. Because then I could research gunpowder immediately. So let's have a look. Yes, I can grab it. So that's what I'm getting. There we go. It also means I can get armories. So now I can go directly for gunpowder. As I said, I never really go for Renaissance Era through gunpowder. So this will delay rationalism quite a bit. Hopefully... Oh, I can actually unlock rationalism in 17 turns. Okay. Hmm. So that didn't actually delay Renaissance Era. Well, that's mostly because I actually managed to steal this technology. So I might still be in a decent shape, perhaps, maybe. We'll see about that. Question is, do I want to sign a peace deal for 15 turns and then attack again, or just keep farming experience? I want to be able to break through here until I get better units, that's pretty obvious, unfortunately. I'm kind of tempted to just keep farming experience. Maybe he will feel a little bit overconfident and actually move towards me. 145 gold, alright. And more farms. So I'm going to decide that in the next part, this one is done. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.